Hey guys, in this video we have a work from home job that's available right now at a company I've covered a few times called InkSub, which is a company that has all sorts of WordPress products and services. And this job that we're looking for here is called a Campus Press Support Specialist. So you're a WordPress support specialist at Campus Press, in other words. Campus Press being one of their projects or one of their actual products. So you'll be work, working on various WordPress projects across WPMU Dev, Campus Press, and EduBlogs. And they're looking for a person that will be able to work also on weekends and available to work on the following schedules. So make sure that uh, you can at least work partially on weekends, but also be able to work these types of hours. They're not saying you have to live in these time zones. You can work from anywhere remotely. It looks like you can work worldwide as well. And this is a technical support related job that is full time, 40 hours a week. They also encourage you to work more than 40 hours a week, but that's only if you want to. You don't have to do that. So with this role, what you will do is provide support by email to EduBlogs and Campus Press customers. You will assist with and solve all manner of WordPress questions with style, contributing to testing and QA with updates to WordPress core, plugins, and themes. You'll be coordinating with developers over bugs, features, and cool new stuff, and being an active part of the Ying Sub team. So qualifications for this requirements have a really good familiarity with WordPress, might even be able to code a bit or a lot even better. And all the code that you see on here is pretty much stuff for websites. So so one thing that I wanted to mention is you can learn how to code pretty much all of these for free at sololearn.com or with the sololearn app on your mobile device. I've actually taken some, um, I guess you would call them courses on my phone for things like CSS and Python and things like that. It's really cool, really easy. They give you up, they just teach you a few things at a time. They let you quiz yourself on it. They have uh, little games that you play where you code to win the game. They have like a kind of like a forum or like a comment section where kind of learners can all help each other out. It's a really cool way to learn. They have a lot of different ways to learn as well. So if you wanted to learn how to code, you can do this yourself. You don't have to have an actual um, job coding or anything like that. They're not really saying that. They're just like, oh, you have to have three plus years of experience or anything like that. They're just saying you need to have good familiarity with WordPress. Amazingly great communication skills, impressive response times and typing speed, interpersonal skills, including the powers to swiftly build rapport with both current and potential customers. You're a great team player, keen on working in an expanding, motivated, distributed support team. You enjoy collaborating with others and don't back down from a challenge and you love people and love yourself. They tell you right here, uh, we like all staff to be working 40 hours a week, but if you did want to work more hours, that's cool with them. So I guess this could be an opportunity for overtime here. Uh, skill set, WordPress customer support, education, industry knowledge, English language, communication, PHP, MySQL, HTML, CSS. That basically just summarizes what the job is and all the things that you might be doing is all that really does. Job benefits, growth-oriented culture, excellent compensation with competitive benefits and rejuvenation time off, flexible work environment, training tools and support will be provided to help you to perform your job, limitless learning opportunities by working with cutting edge tech stacks and a diverse, talented team, 28 days of paid leave per year up to 35 days, opportunities for paid travel to attend work camps and other industry conferences, Long service leaves three months off paid after you've been with us for 10 years. Annual bonus based on company growth targets. Technology budget that can help you upgrade the tools you use for your job. The longer you serve, the higher the budget. And a general expenses budget yearly that can be used to help you become more productive. The longer you work, the, work, the more you get. So other than that, they do also have a task sheet that you can look at here. So that's one thing that's kind of a little bit different. You see right here, you have an attachment and what this looks like is this PDF here. So you have a, the Campus Press Support Application Tasks. So they go over this a little bit. Um, they want to be able to judge your skill set. So here are five quick tasks you'll need to complete and submit with your application is basically what this is. So something simple really every now and then you 
we get some members that sign up, pay, and even download some plugins, but don't have any idea how to install WordPress or those plugins. We've even had some that didn't know what WordPress was, really. Assume that you're chatting with the grandmother or grandfather and they have never used this in 500 words or less, explain the simplest ways that WordPress really is and why it's important. Also explain what a plugin is and use at least one analogy that anyone should be able to understand. That's very easy. You can literally look up the answer to this online. How's your code? Hello, support team. I'm building a WP site for my client and I need to add a phone number field when I edit the user profile in the admin section. So basically something similar like an email field, but for number input instead. Thing is my client doesn't allow me to install any third party plugins on the site so I can only use custom coded solutions. I'm not that code savvy. And so basically how would you help them accomplish that? how to improve their page speed score, which you can do. That's another fairly easy thing to do. You can use Google page speed insights for that. Multi-sites rock the world. So basically helping them with some information about multi-sites and then last but not least, some styles. Do you know like basic CSS to make changes to a page and things like that? So again, you can learn CSS and stuff for free at Solo Learn. If you don't know some of these other things, a lot of this stuff can just be looked up online or on YouTube. It's very basic kind of what, what is a plugin, how does WordPress work and things like that. A lot of that stuff is um, very easy with YouTube tutorials and those types of things. So I really don't think you need job experience for any of this stuff. As far as more information about the company and what else they're hiring for, they also have a uh, campus press sales support specialist. So they have the regular support job, the technical support job, and then they have like a sales job that's also available. As far as qualifications for this one, experience with WordPress, experience with working in education, U.S. higher education preferred, knowledge about the education industry, and other than that, experience with Google apps like Docs, Spreadsheets, Spreadsheets, Meets, things like that. Ability to work in, uh, during U.S. time zones, but not necessarily in them. So this is another job you can check out as well. It's a little bit different, but fairly similar. As far as pay for the WordPress support specialist at Campus Press, um, they don't really have anything like that on here yet in terms of salary. So what you can do is, um, I think the only one they had was like a basic customer support job, which this is more of a technical support job. There is kind of a difference, um, especially in pay. It's like 10, it might be as much as $10,000 a year more to do technical support versus basic customer support. Um, and because you need to do little things like with WordPress and stuff like that, it's it's a little different than just answering questions. So I believe it'll be closer to what a technical support specialist makes, which is around $53,000 a year. So that would be like $1,000 a week. And then you also have uh, reviews as far as what it's like to work at InkSub. They have a 3.8 out of five star rating, 64% recommend working here to a friend. Benefit wise, they have a four out of five star rating, although they only have two ratings so far. Interview wise, they have a 2.9 out of five difficulty rating. So not too difficult to interview here apparently, but not necessarily the easiest in the world either. Now interview questions, they don't have a lot yet because they just don't have a ton of feedback on their Glassdoor site yet. But two of the ones I did find are um, respond to some templated customer questions. So. Uh, I believe they're probably talking about the questions that were on the um, the PDF here maybe. And so those were pretty much templated. Um, you might just make sure that you are very familiar with that PDF and they'll have that download again on the actual application page. It'll be on the attachment section there. And then you also have um, a question that someone asked about, you know, tell us about yourself, your hobbies, how do you spend your time? They kind of want to know what you do outside of work as well, instead of just work and that's it. So the, the other questions were mostly very specific to the job that you were applying for. So earn that, hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home job opportunities like these, and I'll see you in the next video.